I just read a story that talks about an amazing change. XRP's value reached an impressive $1,427, a big step forward that was made possible by the fact that 30% of the world's banks may accept it. At first thought, 30% may not seem like much, but it's a big chunk of the banking industry. Ripple is said to be working with almost a third of the world's banks, which is very interesting. We have all the proof you need in this section. But the question is whether these banks are using Ripple to its fullest extent. It looks like not. We're going to talk about this subject in more depth today. We will also talk about some new information that says Ripple might be going public by the end of March. As the end of March draws near, this move could send the price of XRP through the roof, reaching an unbelievable $8.97 in just over a month. Hi, CoinGraph market family. Welcome back to the place where you can find everything about XRP. Before we get into the meat of today's post, let's quickly catch up. Please do me a small favor. Tap the like button, subscribe and bell button to become a part of our wonderful group. Also, here's a heads up. As we get closer to 7,000 subscribers, we're getting ready for a huge XRP gift. It's really easy to enter the giveaway. Just do these three easy things. So be ready and tuned in to make sure you get into the giveaway. Don't forget to leave a code for money side in the comments. In an interesting twist, about 4% of all deposits made through foreign bank accounts are held by SBI. In a bigger picture sense, this means that SBI could be a big part of the 30% global banking field by using Ripple's technology. Yes, but that's only the beginning. Ripple has also made a big agreement in Brazil where it is working with the Brazilian central bank to offer its on-demand liquidity services. That's only one part of the world puzzle. If you watched my last video, you'll remember that we talked about the BRICS countries and how each one, like China, Brazil, South Africa, Russia and India, has direct ties with Ripple for on-demand funding and central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs. Comparing the world's GDP to that of just the BRICS countries shows that they make up about 29% of the world's economic output. This leads us to an interesting option. This would help close the gap between standard banking systems and the decentralized finance sector. At the moment, Americans can make fast payments within the United States, mostly through third-party apps like Venmo and PayPal or digital cryptocurrency wallets. However, the FedNow service will change everything about this. The platform is still in the test stage, but over 120 organizations, including well-known banks like U.S., Bank and Exchange Bank, as well as a number of payment processors and solution providers, have already signed up to use it. This change gives us a great chance to make a new base for the FedNow service. Not only shows that blockchain technology is becoming more accepted and used in traditional financial services, but it also marks a turning point in the relationship between traditional banks and the new world of decentralized finance. As a leader in cross-border payment solutions and distributed ledger technology, Ripple is set to play a major role in the FedNow project, which is being led by the Federal Reserve. Stellar Lumens XLM which is known for its blockchain-powered network that makes global transfers faster and cheaper, is also likely to be added to the FedNow ecosystem. This is where the story takes an interesting turn. A story caught the attention of the fintech world not long ago. XRP soars to $1,427 as 30% of banks around the world accept it. It's an amazing development that shows how blockchain and banking can change things. The story says that 30% of the world's banks are now using XRP for cross-border payments, which is what caused its amazing rise in value to $1,427. This amount of adoption shows that a huge number of people want XRP, which has sent its price to all-time highs. The rising value of XRP on the market is not only good news for Ripple, but it could also be very good for buyers. The story gets more interesting when it's revealed that XRP's market share is almost at or above 30%, which points to even wider use in the world's financial systems. In a shocking development just six days ago, it was said that XRP transactions could go over $1.2 quadrillion, which would make its price possible $10,000. Today is a huge change because financial institutions are starting to use the XRP system and its digital assets in more ways. The news is out and no one can change it. The buying program from Ripple is no longer just a guess. It's becoming real faster than anyone thought it would. Ripple Labs, the company that created XRP, is not only thinking about buying it, it is already doing so. As pointed out in a recent story, Ripple starts a large buyback and retires nearly 1 billion XRP. This shows that a lot of people are sure about XRP's value and its future in the financial world. And the story gets more complicated when it comes out that the Federal Reserve is not just watching from the sides, but is very interested in making XRP a central part of global payment systems. If central banks around the world start using XRP more widely, its value could skyrocket to between $12,000 and $22,000 per coin. This has huge effects. This huge increase in value shows how XRP has the ability to completely change the way global finance works. It has also been confirmed that Google's insights are in line with this path, which supports the Federal Reserve's plans to use XRP as a global payment option because it is so flexible. This set of events is a big step forward for Ripple and XRP. It puts them at the forefront of financial innovation and could change the way payments are made around the world. As promised, we have some shocking papers that were leaked and are about to tell you about them. There are more and more signs that the Federal Reserve has been interested in XRP for a while now. 
Just a few weeks ago, the Federal Reserve said it would accept XRP around the world, which is in line with the ISO 4217 standard. This big plan was supposed to be put into action by the end of 2023, but there were delays that weren't expected. As a result, XRP wasn't widely used as a legally recognized currency right away after regulators gave the go ahead. Now, XRP is mentioned with other well-known currencies like the US dollar, the euro, the British pound and the Canadian dollar, which are all issued by governments or central banks. But the story gets more complicated when it comes out that the Federal Reserve wants to use the XRP digital asset. Google Reader Insights show that Kikuchi, a government figure who supports using XRP's public chain, said that a side chain should be made. Keggy, an expert, says that this plan would let Federal Reserve funds work directly with new ideas in the private sector. This would make it possible for people to work together and make huge strides in technology. This is just the start. The head of the U.S. Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, has made it clear that big investments are being made to create new independent settlement systems in the U.S. This means that financial technology and digital assets are about to go through a transformative time. Do not forget that I am not a licensed financial planner. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful.